welcome back to another one and today we're going to be doing what I've seen people doing um, which I think looks stunning is um, a 3D bauble, Christmas bauble. So um, we're going to be using pinks and um, rather than like your normal like greens and and bright reds you know some people like to have pink so that it's not so wow so we're going to do that today we're going to do it with a little bit of um, tartan or plaid whatever you like to call it and some glitter and yeah keep watching so first i'm just using up some nail tips that i um bought um in the first lockdown um because i was going to do some press-ons so i'm just using these up okay most of them are going to be pink anyway so it doesn't really matter so for this one i'm going to be using lavender violets uh, D108 on I think three of the nails. I'm going to be using white. It's not got a code. It probably has, but I'll find it. And I'm going to be using Fairy Glow, which I absolutely love. Fairy Glow products. They um, that's five eight oh four. I love their products because they're super sparkly and pigmented. I mean, look at that sparkle on that, and it looks gorgeous on nails. And it's super super easy to use. Very very pigmented. So I'm going to paint three of these nails first. Obviously, if this was a client, you would have already prepped the nails. So I'm going to do two coats on each nail. I'm going to do three of the nails like this and put them in the lamp. And then I'm going to do one um plain nail in this fairy glow you get to see how good it is actually now let's let me just show you let me actually let me just shake that okay so you'll see just how super pigmented this is so this is the color look isn't that just a stunning stunning glittery gel polish now i find these fairy glow ones are really really um affordable um for nail techs and home users and the pigments in them are ridiculous so you really do get a lot of product for your money this is not me um i'm not sponsored by these guys um at all um but i do have a lot of their gel polishes and i think they're amazing so i'm just passing it on to you guys for no reason other than i think you know, people will benefit from these. I've got a lot of these um, different types of colours from them. Um, all these really high pigmented um, uh, glittery colours. So they're really good. So I pop that in the lamp and I'm going to go and paint the other ones and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so um, we're going to do the tartan one next. I've got some um, of the colours on my palette and I'm going to use a striper brush now. I am rubbish at lines. So it's not going to be perfect. Please bear with me um, and hopefully we'll get something that resembles a tartan kind of design. Oops, that wasn't meant to happen. Trying to straighten up my line, but it's not really happening. I'm gonna go in with my cleanup brush, I think, and um, fix that. <laughs> the thing is that with the lines, you don't want to mess about with them too much because you can end up making them worse because I mean it's not bad really considering I'm not great at them so I don't want to play around too much um, other than just clean up that side there I think oh, it's a bit fatter this bit here Okay, I'm going to flash that. 
So next I'm going to get my white. I'm just going to drag my brush through and get plenty of that on. Make sure I've not got too much. And I'm going to try and do a double line here. Am I happy with that before I go on to my next one? That's the thing, because otherwise if I do the other one and I'm not happy with this one, it's going to be hard to clean it up. Let's just go in and tidy that up a little bit. I mean, you can flash in between, in between if you like, um, so that you don't ruin this one. But I'm being brave. It may or may not pay off. It's not so bad, is it? I feel like that, that needs to be a bit closer there. It's hard to see, I'm trying to do it on camera. Not that I'm making excuses or anything. Let's just get that edge there because it looks a bit fat on the bottom. I mean, some people will be like, oh, do you know what? It's fine, but yeah. I just want to clean that bit there. See, sometimes you end up, when you mess about too much, taken off more than you wanted so sometimes if you're happy just bloody leave it alone you know I'm gonna pop that in flash it quickly Okay, so that's splashed. I'm just going to do um, another one down the bottom here, hopefully. Let's see. It's not, because the nail's curved, it's always hard to get a straight line like this. I find it easier to go from top to bottom rather than bottom. Sorry, yeah, long ways rather than this way, because the nail's a lot more curved. So it's sometimes hard to get a straight line. I mean, that's not so bad, is it? I'm going to flash that and cure that. In fact, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to flash it. I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, once I flash that, I did go back in and do a, another um, coat of the pink. And I also made it a bit fatter, a bit thicker. So um, I felt like you didn't need to watch me do that. So um, that's the finished one now. Okay, so um, move on to the next one. So for the next one, we're going to be doing the bauble. So I do need some white on my palette. And probably a little bit of glitter, the pink glitter actually. Not much though. Oh, I'm making a mess everywhere. Just wipe that off. Got it all down here. Oh well. I'll get a clean piece in a minute. Right, so I'm going to use a smaller detailer brush if I can find it. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit of paint on my brush to do the outside of the bauble. This is just a smaller detailer brush, this one. It's 
Not very round, is it? God, my hands are shaking. Oops, and I'm out of shot. Too much coffee. Hopefully I can go ahead and redeem this a little bit. I think, though, I don't think it needs to be perfect. Faffing, aren't I? I know. But I don't think it's quite a circle. So I'm going to make it more circly rather than egg shape, which is what it was. I think. And then I'm going to go in with my clean up brush. I mean, it probably doesn't matter anyway. Does it? I don't know. I don't want it to be that fat though. I do love a clean-up brush though, with a little bit of alcohol on. Because look, that's not so bad now, is it? I'm going to flash that now. Okay, so that's come out of the lamp now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit of top coat. And I'm just going to put it in the middle of this only because this is where I'm going to put the glitter first and that's where I want it to stick. I mean you could use gel, normal gel if you wanted. Um, now I have got these here which I thought would look nice in a bauble. You know some baubles have got like glitter in them, loose glitter haven't they some of them? So I thought that was really nice. Don't ask me where I got them from because I can't bloody remember. And I may even use some of these here which I've got like iridescent type lots of some butterflies in there, some stars and some hexagon things. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to pick some of these up and pop them on and see what happens. So I'm just back picking up random pieces, really. I don't you know there's no rhyme or reason and I'm just going to use my dotting tool to move them around a little bit more maybe put some more in come on want one more and uh, actually, no, or more than that. So that's the first bit of our bauble. Let's just turn that around because I don't want it poking out like that because it looks silly. I want it to look rounded, not pointy. So I'm going to flash that and then I might get back in with some more to make it like a 3D effect. Okay, so I've grabbed that out of the lamp. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of builder gel. The one I've got here is just a cheap one that I got when I was stood, when I was um, training. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. Pop it 
on there. Oops, sorry, out of shot. Pop it on there. See, look, it's already sparkly. Make sure that I'm pushing it to the edges where you want it because, you know, gel will only go where you want it to go. So I'm pushing this right to the edges of my bauble where the white finishes. Push, 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 push. And then I'm gonna put some more, um, I might use some of these ones. Some stars in here. Don't know whether it'll look good or not. It may look shit. Oops. Hopefully this will give them a 3D effect. That's the plan anyway. I don't know what I'm picking up really. I'm just picking up random pieces. I don't, you know, there's no reason really. I think that'll do. I'm gonna pop that in the lamp, flash cure it, and then I'm gonna go in with some more builder gel to make it more 3D. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that out of the lamp. And I'm going to get some more builder gel and now I'm going to build up the um, bauble so I want a nice decent amount not too much though because I don't want to flood the nail and I'm going to pop this on the top and again pushing it where you want the gel to go making sure you've got contact with the brush at all times with the brush? No, with the gel. So that you can create your 3D bauble. Now, obviously it is self-leveling, so it should. Oh, sorry, I'm out of shot. But you may need to help it a little bit. I feel like it's missing some over here. A bit gappy. And then just checking it all the way around to make sure that it is sticking out and it's even. And then, you know, that's quite cool, isn't it? If you're happy, pop it in the lamp for a fuel cure. Okay, so next I want to do the. Um, let's move these out of the way. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing the um, string for the bauble. You can either do a straight line up like that if you want it. Or you can do a wiggly line if you're not very good with lines at this stage. And then I'm just going to do a bow. on this side. Clean that off. And I'm just going to go in with my other detailer brush to just um, make the lines a little bit stronger. Okay. 
So there's the bauble. Well, that's the thing we bobs anyway. So we'll pop that in the lamp. And then last but not least is my next one. And I'm going to be using um, these, which I've had my eye on for a while, but I've not actually used them before. I think this, they'd look perfect for this set actually, because they're like iridescent and they're pink and white. So um, they'll look a little bit like, I don't know, icicles, uh, bits of snow. I don't know, whatever you want them to be really. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, top coat on my nail to, um, for these guys. Sorry, I'm out of shot. For them to stick to. And then I'm just gonna pick up some with my little brush randomly. Just place them on. They don't need to be in any particular order. I'm just picking up random bits and placing them on the nail. But because they are, um, what are they called? Lines, stripes, um, you want them to go down rather than across the nail because um, otherwise they'll stick out. So I suppose I'm just kind of doing this as like, um, I don't know, it could be tinsel, it could be frozen ice. I guess it looks a bit like frozen ice, doesn't it? More than anything. And I just thought it went well, the colours as well that we've been using. Um, and it kind of matches the bauble a little bit. placing them on, trying to turn them around so that they don't stick out on the nail. I'm going to get rid of some of these because I've got too many I think. It's making a mess. I'm going to turn it around and use my dotting tool to move these around now. I think I've got enough on there for the effect that I'm after anyway. putting them into position until I'm happy. I know it looks like I'm faffing, but I'm um, trying not to have too many of them sticking out because I don't really want to encapsulate it. I will if I have to. Let's pop some more up there. There, I think I'm happy. She says. Looks cute, doesn't it? Pop that in the to kill. Okay, so now it's time to top coat everything. We will top coat this one first and we'll make sure that um, we put plenty on because there will be a bit sticking out, okay? So float it on. Floaty, floaty. Chunky bits that are cured in there. And then what I like to do with things like this is, let me just make sure I've got plenty on, is hold it upside down. If it's a client, hold the hand upside down. Just to let gravity help make the nail smooth and um, you can go underneath it and help it a little bit. You can't really see me doing that, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sure that the nail is even. Okay. Because I don't want a bumpy nail. And then we're gonna top coat the uh, tartan one. Pop him in the lamp for 60. 
and then we have our glitter one that we did earlier I've already wiped these by the way so um Oh, and this has got two coats on this glitter one. You saw me put one coat on, but this is a second coat. Look how sparkly it is. And then last but not least, this one. So being careful not to, um, let's do around the edge first, because what I don't want to do is make it Wilky around the edges, so I'm just going to top coat this, and then this, then it should really pop because it will shine underneath. Making sure that we've got all of the bauble all the way around. And actually, you know, earlier when I was trying my hardest to make sure that the bauble was really round and I was faffing, actually, I didn't need to worry too much because you can't really see the edge of the bauble anyway. Look. So just make sure that I've not got excess top coat on here because it is going to fall down from the bauble or slide down from the bauble. So I'm just going to make sure that we clean all that off, take off the excess. Because I don't want it slippy sliding everywhere and making the nail look a mess. And then when you're happy, pop it in. Then I'll do the final reveal shots. So here they are guys, all together. Look at that bauble. Isn't that gorgeous? Oops. I'm actually really happy with how these turned out for my first time. So guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.